So for osmium trioxide hydroxylation, you have OSO4 and then H2O2, and it will also be a syn addition. So you have your compound, OSO4, uh, it goes in, forms a bond to this oxygen, and this oxygen forms a bond to this carbon. So you form a syn bond, um, and then the, uh, so notice how these two are sticking out, and this methyl group is sticking into the page, um, because it's a syn addition. And so then you add H2O2, right? You add H2O2 to cleave it off, and you'll be left with two alcohols um, pointing out, and then notice the stereochemistry remains the same, with the methyl group pointing into the page, and then it closes back up. So the overall mechanism is OSO4 forms a bond, right? Two bonds. Uh, it, it forms the stereochemistry of syn, so two of them are pointing out or in, so it can be dashes or wedges, and then H2O2 will cleave it off and form two alcohols um, that have been uh, added uh, syn, in, so in the same plane. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.